Hi, I'm Mike Martin. And I'm Hans Bechtel. And we uh, run the infrared beam lines here at the ALS. Beam line 1.4 and beam line 5.4. Uh, the infrared beam lines are different in that actually if you look at the beam line, it's not a line at all. We actually have turns in it. So this is the front end of the infrared beam lines. Uh, instead of the x-ray beam lines that come out and the light goes straight and out through the shield wall, what we actually do is we bend the light up. And so we have a mirror that does a 90 degree reflection here, sends the light up uh, to another 90 degree reflection that then refocuses the light outside the shield wall. So then the light actually follows this path and then out through the side of the shield wall here. What's special about doing the infrared at the synchrotron is that we're really using the high brightness of the electron beam to focus down uh, the light to a diffraction limited spot size in the infrared. So we can use all the advantages of traditional FTIR, but also be able to, um, to look at samples that are uh, down at 2 to 10 micron size scale. So we've done a lot of work on uh, uh, living samples, looking at cells, bacteria, mammalian cells. Um, we're, we're well below the energy uh, threshold where we do any damage to the cells, so we can look at them live. We've looked at the uh, bacteria as they are degrading oil from the Gulf oil spill. We've also looked at a lot of different types of materials. So one example is uh, graphene. Uh, graphene has a lot of very interesting optical properties, uh, and we can be able to measure those uh, directly on these very small flakes of graphene, uh, looking at their transmission as a function of gate voltage, for example.